Welcome back to Andrea Jean Clean. Today I'm going to show you how to clean your white Converse shoes or really any sort of white shoe using only two ingredients. Super, super easy. You know it's all about cleaning and organizing for busy women over here. Now let me show you the shoes. I have had these about a year. I haven't worn them a whole ton, but you may, there we go. There's the camera picking up the dirt. Your white shoes that you're wanting to clean may be more dirty than this. They may be less dirty than this, but they are looking a bit grimy and dingy. And you know this is a cleaning channel all about cleaning, so I like to keep things as best as I possibly can. So I'm just giving you a quick before here, and then we're gonna dive into the products that you will need to clean these shoes very, very easily. And again, this works with shoes that are very, very grimy and shoes that are kind of like mine here, just tinged, tinged gray is what I will call them, tinged gray. All right, let's dive into it. What you're gonna need, one tablespoon hydrogen peroxide. I've already dumped that in my bowl here. You're going to need one tablespoon of water. I've already dumped that here in this bowl. And then last but not least, one tablespoon of baking soda. Easy peasy, right? And then grab yourself an old cleaning toothbrush and then you're just gonna wanna mix up your solution like so. Do, do, do. If we're not friends on Instagram, make sure you hit me up at Andrea Jean Co. I teach women how to turn their passions into profits and this cleaning channel is one way that I do that. And in the description box, there's an entire playlist about how to clean and organizing pretty much anything you can think of in your home. Okay, so we've got a nice paste here. Now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the shoe. And I'm gonna do two coats using my toothbrush here. I'm gonna go ahead and set you up on my tripod now so I can demonstrate that. So here we are. I got you set up nice and close. You probably can hear the birds outside. I don't know, let me know in the comment box below. Um, they are going crazy. It's finally nice here in Wisconsin. So I'm just going to go ahead and scrub up the entirety of these shoes. Now the nice thing is if your laces are dirty, which those often get very dirty, just go ahead and take the laces out and you can mix them in the solution as well. Again, this doesn't require a washing machine, which is really nice because sometimes those can wreak havoc on your shoes as well, you know, bouncing around. And um, I just like this method because it's simple, easy, easy ingredients. No fuss, I'm all about that over here. If there's a better way that I could do something to make it look nice and clean, then you better believe your girl here is gonna figure it out. <laughs> all right, so I'll go ahead and get these all nice and brushed up with my solution here. Again, it was one tablespoon hydrogen peroxide, one tablespoon water, and one tablespoon baking soda. Now there's not a science to that ratio, but that's just what I have found to work well. If you need more solution, just go ahead and mix that up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two coats on each shoe and then I will show you our next step. Okay, all done. That took me less than five minutes. They are not sopping wet. They just have a nice sort of glaze coat over them of that solution. So here we go. We're gonna go outside. It is a nice sunny day, so that is a bonus. We're gonna go outside on my deck and we're just gonna plop these babies right here in the sun for them to dry. Let the product do its magic. And I would say this is probably gonna take maybe four hours or so. It depends upon where you live, um, the temperature, all that good stuff. So I will meet you back here in about four hours. Okay, let's take a peek at my shoes. It's been about, I would say three hours. They've, they have um, they have dried fairly quickly here. Let me bring you into the shade so that you can fully see. And the next thing you're gonna wanna do they're looking nice and white, aren't they? See that? 
is you're gonna wanna shake them out. Can you see that? A little of the dried up stuff is coming off. Let me do this one. Now, this is pretty amazing. So look inside the sole. It's kind of this yellowish color. The outside here is super, super white. Look at that. Very nice. Wow. White, white, white. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do here, I just have this wet rag here. This is an old kitchen towel that I cut up and I got some slightly warm water. I'm just gonna wipe them down a little bit and then I will show you the full after effect. So I got done wiping these all down with just that wet washcloth and it looks so good. Look at that. Yes, so, so nice. Brand, they look like brand spanking new now. Yay! Let me know if you've tried this method before. I absolutely love this. Again, if you have some really stained shoes, you may need to do this process a couple of times if you wanna clean them. Also, in the description box, I have a whole playlist about how to clean and organize pretty much anything in your house. You name it. I'm always looking for the best tips and tricks to save you the most amount of time. But those babies are looking so good. All right. I will see you, my friend, in the next one.